Roy, how is it going with you today? I'm good. I'm good. I, I I'm see that good. you're uh, extremely in the festive mood. You're all dressed up well, and, and ready for ready for the holidays, my friend. Yeah, I'm semi festive here, just a little bit. <laughs> this is about as festive as it's going to get. None of these Santa hats ever fit. It's strangling the blood to my brain. I understand. You're you're festive from the waist up, I'm sure. I, you know what, what what's going on? Like, are you wearing shorts or like what's going on there? No, I actually did the pants too. I did the Santa <laughs> pants as well. So you know, I I went all out for you. You know, you you got to dress for the part you want, not the part you have. And the part I want is professional elf concierge. That's how I'm dressed right <laughs> I, now. I, I completely appreciate that. Uh, Roy, before we, we talk about this, the, what you're doing with Comedy Central, I have to ask you something. When did you know you were funny? I mean, you have a you have a yet very young son. Is he already showing signs that he could be a stand-up comedian? Uh, I hate to say it, but yeah, he definitely has a sense of humor. He definitely has the concept of... I can look at you, do something to make you laugh, see you laugh, and then I see him get satisfaction from that person's joy. And that scares me because it means he's not going to pay attention in class. Ah, uh, why were you that kind of kid? Four. He's four. No, I only have him. And that's the other thing is because he's the only child, it's, hey, look at me. I need attention. What are you doing? Forget that. Look at me. Um, He's an ace with a camera. He's great with the microphone, the concept of interviewing. He's good. He's good. I got to give it I, to I him. Think you need, I think you need to be careful because, you know, if Trevor uh, gets hold of uh, some of the videos that, you, that you've already displayed with your son, I, 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 hilarious stuff, you, you might be out of a job. Yeah. I don't know. You better be careful. Yeah, they'll fire me and hire my son because he's younger and more affordable, such as the way of television. <laughs> It's inevitable. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, listen, you've got some great stuff coming to us from Comedy Central. You're hosting the 31 more days of being home for the holidays, and you are in your dome away from home. So tell us a little bit about this and what we can expect from you from, from this 31 so, days of great programming. Basically, what people can expect is me kicking it in a dome, watching a lot of our favorite holiday themed episodes from past television programs and a lot of great movies that we've all loved. Timeless comedic classics. It's it's crazy to think in the last 20 years just how many great comedies we've had that just still stand up like, the, you know, the 40 year old virgin and wedding crashers and grown ups, grown ups, too. Um, I would even put the longest yard in that set in super bad. So. I'm kicking it. I'm watching all of that stuff. We're going to have sketches and interstitials. We're watching South Park and Parks and Rec and The Office and Futurama. It's just li literally what this is in a nutshell. There's an opportunity for you to just turn on the television and kick back with some of the dopest shows that you've seen. Yeah, and we, we certainly need that right now. That There's no question about it. We just need to laugh. It's been a long haul. We feel. Don't you feel like this has been forever, especially for somebody like you who is used to doing stand up, used to going to clubs, you that all went for a halt. Like you, you can't do that. And, and that had to have been like, how do you adjust to something like that? Uh, it's it, it was different. It was different. But the thing that I was blessed with is that we still had the Daily Show. There was still a lot of chaos happening. So we had stories to follow interviews to do. And that part was good. Um, but there's definitely um, I miss stand up. I miss being on stage 100%, which is part of why I'm so excited. Uh, the homie Michael Costa, who's also on Daily Show, he has an hour special premiering this month on Comedy Central on the 11th, Detroit, New York to LA. And it's like, I'm just excited. I'm happy for him that he's able to get new content out there because I want to do the same. So it's just a chance to sit back and take in and study the craft and root for my friends, you know, who, who get on television during this time. Yeah. Yeah, Roy, yeah, I'm going to be talking to Michael next week for about that special, so I'm looking forward to that. And I have to ask you, you know, just just doing your stuff for The Daily Show and working with Trevor, you know, I, I've been watching it almost every night. It, it's kind of getting me through this pandemic, I have to say. Uh, what's it like to work with with Trevor? He, he's really such a smart and <laughs> such a good guy. The most important thing you need to know about Trevor Noah is how calm that man is. That man understands how to process the chaos that's happening 
and through the calm, find solutions and find levity. And that's where you find the humor. It's hard to find the humor when it's still something that's affecting you. And that's not to say that these issues don't affect Trevor, but Trevor understands how to use the power that he has to try and help other people's anger and help us all, you know, find solutions to issues. Because this day is at work. I'm going to be honest with you. I come in there mad. Yeah, like, man, we yeah. got to do this. Well, hey, thank you I'm for all the last. You, to write no joke. Yeah, thank you for all the last is... that you've brought us. I, I, I really appreciate it, and uh, we're going to look forward to seeing your uh, uh, these thirty-one more days of being home for the holidays. I look forward to your interstitials and seeing what you give us from your dome away from home. So, thank you for everything, Roy. And, <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, ha happy holidays to you and your son.